this is Laura Omini and you're welcome to Real Relationships where we help people make sound decisions that foster great relationships. Now, did you know that low self-esteem can and is destroying so many great relationships? Now, according to Wikipedia, self-esteem is an individual's subjective evaluation of their own self-worth. For instance, I am good enough, I am beautiful, God loves me, I am loved, and I am lovable, I can do all things through Christ. Low self-esteem on the flip side is a negative evaluation of one's self-worth. For instance, I am not good enough, I am not enough, I am not beautiful, I am not good looking, my head is too big, my ears are too long, I am ugly, I can't do this, I can't do that. These are negative self-evaluation. Low self-esteem can cause you to jeopardize your relationship and make you to lose a great guy or a wonderful lady. Because people with low self-esteem are overly suspicious. They anticipate the worst of, of their partners. They're always anticipating rejection. They're anticipating uh, anticipating sorry they anticipating rejection they anticipating betrayals and before long what they fear most comes upon them unconsciously they are helping to create the situations that they fear most people with low self-esteem are abusive you know they, they, they can accuse a faithful partner of being unfaithful without any cogent reasons you know because of their own insecurities now remember that god has not given you the spirit of timidity he has not given you the spirit of low self-worth he has not given you the spirit of fear but he has given you the spirit of love the spirit of boldness and of a sound mind i want to read you this quote from Maxwell Matt. He says, of all the traps and pitfalls in life, self-disesteem is the deadliest and the hardest to overcome, for it is a pit designed and dug by our own hands. Summed up in the phrase, I can do it. Maxwell Maltz. Remember that you are worthy, you are good enough, you are beautiful, you are loved, you are more than enough for all God has called you to do on this earth. So look at yourself the way God sees you. Look at yourself through God's eyes. May God open your eyes to see who you really are in Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.